everybody's so creative. One thing about cooking for yourself, if you do it wrong, can't nobody tell you don't do it again because you can do it all over again. And you don't have to wash your pans every night. Go ahead and leave everything that you had from last night's dinner or even last week's dinner right on the stove. That way your pan is nice and seasoned when you get to throw your hot dogs and sausage in there with some cheese. Throw it right in there with all that goodness at the bottom of the pan. You know why? Because now we're about to deglaze all that nasty, I mean goodness, off the bottom of the pan. And we're going to go ahead and put that all into a liquor. Look at that. Look at that. It's turning into a liquor. Uh-oh. The cheese is bubbling. That's when you know you done done it right now. Now everybody going to be coming, running to the kitchen to wonder what you're doing because it's smelling so different in there. See that? Make sure you bang on the pan a lot with your spoon because you want everybody in there to know you're really doing it in the kitchen. Push it down. Push that nice soft bread down. You don't want that softness. You want it to be real soupy so you can wring it out at the end. Make sure you cook everything together because you want to, now you want to soak up all them juices and all that seasoning you had at the bottom going right into that roll. Don't that sound different? Now beat it. Just beat it right with the back of the spoon. That's important. Because then you're going to really have people going, you okay in there? And just come out sweating like you're really doing something good. Look at there. See how once it starts, the string is getting there. You're almost done now. Make sure you have that cheese real cheesy. You know why? Because it ain't going to slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. I bet this one would go. It's real soppy doppy. That's what we want. Go ahead. Make sure it looks like a cheese steak. That as soon as they took it off the grill, they rolled it up in a whole bunch of wrap. And you traveled 35 minutes. And when you opened it up, it was the steam had made it all soupy. That's what you want it to look like. And then you know it's right. If y'all don't like that, go on down to Kiki's house. Kiki is the neighbor with all the kids that don't mind feeding everybody. Just tell us somebody else sent you.